We're back on the fan duel. Hurry up, Maria Marino for Fantasy Sports Network once again with Gabe Morenci previewing every single spread for week 11 of the NFL. Already week 11. Hard to believe, but let's talk about another matchup for this weekend. As the Titans visit the Colts, the Colts are favored just by one point. Uh, both of these teams are playing better, right, Gabe? Yeah, you know what? And uh, the number was actually three earlier in the week, uh, but there's been a steady flow of Tennessee Titan money that's been betting this uh, number down. And once again, we talk about this often, Maria, as far as people remember what they saw last. Uh, the Tennessee Titans last week were were six-and-a-half-point home dogs. And now suddenly, ooh, the game's a pick them on the road because, ooh, they beat the New England Patriots. Yeah, they beat the New England Patriots because Mike Vrabel knows the inside and uh, the inside of that organization. He was a player. He played for them. He was a linebacker. He's part of that, you know, he's part of the dynasty for Abel. You throw in the fact you had Malcolm Butler in a revenge spot. You had uh, Deion Lewis, who, of course, said this is what you get for being cheap, uh, New England. You notice there's no love lost between former Patriots uh, once they leave Foxborough after the fact. It was very impressive. Very, very, very impressive six days for the Tennessee Titans. There's not a lot of teams in the National Football League that can go on the road beat the Dallas Cowboys by 14 points outright on the road, then go home and not have a letdown, play the New England Patriots, and not just beat the Pats, but destroy the Pats. They, they stopped them. And now you're going in Indy. You know, Andrew Lux never lost to uh, the Titans before. What does that mean? Uh, you know, I, was, I remember losing a Titan bet a couple of years ago, actually, with Mariota, too. Titans were up. It was Mariota's rookie season. They were up, and Andrew Luck was one of those epic comebacks. Luck just owns the Titans, and he, I think he's going to continue to own them too. God bless the Titans if they can win this football game, man. Uh, you go to Dallas, you go home, you beat New England. Now you're going to go on the road and beat Indianapolis. That'd be pretty impressive. Indy aren't perfect. I'll tell you, Maria, they're not a perfect football team. There's going to be some growing pains, but got to love what Frank Reich does. And, you know, Frank Reich, of course, epic comeback with the Buffalo Bills. You know, Frank Reich owns the biggest comeback in college football history with the Maryland Terrapins. And he was a backup quarterback to Boomer Esaias, and he came in, and they actually came back and won the football game. And then, of course, was the epic comeback with the Buffalo Bills against the Houston Oilers. Uh, and then he won a Super Bowl with, as the offensive coordinator, and he did a damn good job with the Philadelphia Eagles as an offensive coordinator. Now he's doing a great job with the Colts. You have rookie head coaches, Reich versus Vrabel, I'm going with Frank Reich and Andrew Luck, who's thrown three touchdowns in six games. Uh, you know, six, three touchdowns or more in six games. Luck is back, uh, baby. And, uh, you know, we don't need it because we're laying it down on Indy. <laughs> I like the way Indy's playing right now. And it's just too much for Tennessee to win this game uh, on the road like this. Give me the Indianapolis Colts, one of my best bets of the week. And the Titans make it three wins in a row. Gabe says it's a tall task. I tend to agree.